How's it going, everybody? I'm going to do a few little things for you real quick here. may try to get this all in one video. may get it in two or three. Don't know yet. Always worries me when there's a bird over my head. <laughs> um, I just posted on Dave's page. I needed a sledgehammer yesterday. And uh, I didn't need anything real big, but I was driving the metal fence stakes in that you use for expanded metal fencing like the four inch square and the welded wire fencing and a eight pound sledgehammer was about 32 bucks at tractor supply company which was way more weight than i needed it's something i was going to use one day and i wouldn't need it anymore and at least not anytime soon enough to bother buying one but right beside it at the same rack they had the trooper two and a quarter pound boys axe they call it um, not really sure on the length we're gonna say probably probably about a 24 inch handle um, it is American hickory American made double check that now before somebody corrects me made in Mexico my mistake made in Mexico with American wood I guess they don't have hickory in Mexico um, good good size axe decent weight um, it's holding an edge pretty good. I may try to just heat treat the end of it again. Um, if you don't know, you can take and submerge the head of this axe in water. All right, or you can coat the end of it with clay if you want to, and just using a, or you can use an oxy settling torch and do it really quick, or you can just use a propane torch and heat just this edge up until it is cherry red and then quench it clean it up and then slowly heat it just till you see just a little bit of color change in it and it'll be pretty good now you can leave it brittle if you want to but I said it, it'll probably do, do pretty good it's not a uh, chipping out or rolling or anything I just I can feel little tiny burrs in it um, but now I use this before I remembered that I had my you know my Swiss tool on my side that does have wire cutters in it I was uh taking a two by four behind the wire and actually using this to you know come down on the wire and split it when I needed to cut a piece of fencing so uh, it's holding up pretty good and there's no grand fours or anything like that but uh, for a good common man you know for 16 bucks for this it's not a bad little deal it's got a good comfortable grip to it you can choke up on it and get two hands if you needed to and you can come up here you know, grip it further up if you need to do a little bit closer work. Um, I was actually using this to split down some 2x4s and put points on them and driving them in the ground just to give a little bit of extra strength around where the fence met a wall or anything so his dogs couldn't get out of it. Um, we had to get the dogs out of the house for health reasons for him, but we wanted them to be close enough to the house that, you know, he can step right out the back door and take care of them and uh, feed them and stuff like that because you know my uncle John's uh, 70 years old and those dogs are like his little kids it's the only only family he's got right there with him so we want to keep uncle John happy um, he's a good man so just want to figure I'd show you all that real quick I'm not gonna do a true review on it until I've used it a good bit make sure it's worth having but so far I'm liking it um, it took a good bit of abuse yesterday, but I was using the back side of it to drive those big metal rods into the ground and um, other than the paint flaking off, which I don't care about, uh, there's no big dents or dings or anything in it, so it's holding up pretty good, so holding a good edge. It, uh, it'll just about still shave, well it is shaving here and there, just not popping sharp, but it's a pretty good axe for the money, y'all. Um, now I had to hunt one that had a good edge on it, but uh, I mean it don't take much to put an edge back on them. The other thing I picked up, I went by Harbor Freight and they had this uh, .041 stainless steel locking wire. It's what they use to uh, lock bolts down and stuff. If you're in a high vibration area, they'll actually lock the bolt down on the nut, or the nut on the bolt rather, drill a little hole through the bolt and then run this wire through it and wrap it to keep the bolt from being able to come out. Um, I paid 
four dollars for this, I think. And just get a little piece of it. Comes in a little uh, blue cup. It didn't say how many feet it was. It's just a one-pound coil. But you know, this stuff straightens out pretty easy. It's easy enough to work with your hands. And uh, when I was buying it, I was buying it so that I could use it to tie the fence into the post. But then while I was working with it, I was like, you know, this stuff wouldn't make a bad little snare. I mean, it'll work. You can put your little kink in it right there. It'll hold its shape pretty good. But then it'll come down on an animal, you know, right quick. Um, now, it won't work as a standard snare. You'd have to use it more as a spring snare because it's stiff enough that I'm pretty sure, you know, if the animal went to walk through it, he'd realize he was in a trap and he'd just back up and probably pull off of it. But for something like a spring snare or, you know, things like that, wouldn't be a bad little thing. I might have to think about that some more and actually play around with it before I say yay or nay, but I had to have some wire, and that was a pretty decent little price on it, you know, for a one-pound box of it. Um, I probably used maybe 30 feet of it yesterday. Got plenty to go. So, that's it on what I got yesterday, y'all. Let me uh, set some things up, and I'm going to try to do some more bamboo for you real quick. All right?